My love for music was triggered when I was a, just a little kid. I first picked up an instrument when I was nine. I was lucky to be in a musical family. My brother played in drums and he always had his friends around playing music. I was quite immersed in that musical world from quite a young age and just loved it right away. And one day I remember coming home and my mum had adopted an upright piano from a family friend and I remember just being fascinated by it. As soon as I sat at the piano it was kind of an instant love for that instrument. I used to love, I remember opening the lid to let all of that kind of resonance flood the room and started working out covers of, of songs that I just liked, bands that I liked, Coldplay were a really big, big one at the time and I really wanted to be able to just sit there and play in, in the way that kind of Chris Martin does originally, that was what it was all about. But then I quite quickly started to realise that I could change things on the piano and, and make them kind of sound my own way and I think I, I started to develop my own playing style quite early and that was very creative in itself and it was re rewriting songs to an extent and that kind of was a bit of a gateway to starting composing my own music. My writing has always just been about how much emotion can I carry with, with the notes. And it's, it never ceases to amaze me that just a single note or the single pluck of a string can deliver so much feeling. I think it's that feeling that made me commit to cinematic style music. Fast forward a couple of years, I'd started to build up a lot of my own ideas, hooks and melodies and things, and I started to think about putting some stuff out under my own name. There was no real structure to it. All I knew is that it made me feel something and I wanted other people to hear it. And it was everywhere I went and anyone I spoke to, it was very humbling for people to be saying, why aren't you doing this? I've got so much material just sat at home on my laptop over, over years of just experimentation. The hundreds of tracks, I pulled out six, and what's so exciting is that this is just the beginning. I wanted to find a name that would allow me to kind of explore perhaps some more abstract ideas with my music. A lot of my music is much more about feeling and the feeling it gives me and the feeling I hope it will give other people. So I wanted, I wanted it to be about life and I wanted it to be about colour and light and perhaps something positive or, or at least the search for something positive. This whole journey, the music journey is about that search for me too, search for meaning and purpose. Although these songs on the EP are fairly new, they're a culmination of years of experimentation and work. I can see quite clearly now that for the past two years I didn't quite know where I was going with my music but it was all leading me here to, the, to where I am at this point. And then I came up with the idea, life in colour. I guess what I'm trying to say is that the songs on this EP they might be quite young, but the journey has been a long one, and I really cannot wait to just release it, because that in itself will be a real milestone for me, a real achievement. What I wanted to get across in the EP was this is just the very start. This is the beginning of a new chapter. This is the start of something new. This is the start of a brand new journey. This piece is now finished, but this is just the beginning. I've got so much music within me, and I just can't wait to get it all out there.